we started with seven qc tools so what do you mean by stratification now uh, this is the phenomena where let's say if i am choosing if i am choosing uh, the data I'm sorting i am having you know the uh, i would like to choose the sample and there are all possibilities like let's say meri ek shift mein main ek production ka example le raha hu ek shift mein char panch varieties ban rahi hai ab so ka batch hai or let's say in one hour i am having a batch of 100 parts in those 100 parts i am having variety a b c d e so many varieties there so variety a ka jo hai wo 20 part ban raha hai b ka 10 ban raha hai c ka 40 ban raha hai d ka uh, 20 ban raha hai likewise the batch of 100 i am preparing now i am saying jab bhi hum uh, baat karte hain ki uh, aapko jab data analysis karna hai to aapko sampling karna hai right ab main aur sampling kaisa sampling karna hai random sampling right so that i can have equal chance of choosing the samples lekin mere to yahan pe char variants hai a b c and d and if i will be doing the random sampling and out of 100 if i am selecting 10 samples or 20 samples and randomly i am choosing it then there are all chances that i may choose all the samples of a or let's say a and d because they are representing more uh, more data from the population 100 mein 40 aur 30 jo hai mera a aur d ke hai right lekin hum jab sampling ki baat karte hain tab stratified random sampling sab ka equal chance jo bhi samples mere batch mein hai नंबर ऑफ वेराइटीज है सबके इक्वल चांस होने चाहिए चूज होने का वॉट बेस्ड ऑन वॉट बेस्ड ऑन देर वेटेज बेस्ड ऑन देर पार्टिसिपेशन इन दैट पर्टिक्यूलर पॉपुलेशन राइट सो दैट इज कोर्स स्ट्रेटिफाइड ए के कितना वेटेज है बी का कितना वेटेज है सी का कितना वेटेज है डी का कितना वेटेज है वो डिवाइड करने के लिए वो डिवाइड करके उसके परसेंटेज निकाल के देन वी आर चूजिंग द रेंडम सिंकलिंग सिंपलिंग बेस्ड ऑन देटेज of the participation or or the weightage of the percentage or the percentage of those particular samples in my subgroup size subgroup matlab 100 mein ek subgroup bana raha hu ek group bana raha hu right to ye jo certification hai wo bahut important tool hai agar aapke uh, aap jab uh, koi uh, phenomena ka analysis kar rahe ho aur aapko samples nikalne hai right to thoda sa ek example main aage dena chahta hu man lo ek opinion poll chal raha hai कि बंगाल में है तमिलनाडु में है केरला में है किसकी 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 सरकार आएगी राइट नाउ इफ आई एम चूजिंग और लेट्स से इन ऑल इंडिया लेवल देर इज एन इलेक्शन एंड आई वुड लाइक टू डू दी सैंपलिंग एंड वुड लाइक टू आइडेंटिफाई कि मेरा ओपिनियन पोल क्या बोल रहा है अब मैं गुजरात की पॉपुलेशन के हिसाब से यूपी की पॉपुलेशन हिसाब को कंपेयर करूँ या बंगाल की करूँ एंड देन आई एम चूजिंग टेन सैंपल्स फ्रॉम और लेट्स से Uh, lakh, one lakh samples from Gujarat and one lakh from UP and one lakh from Bengal and one lakh from Punjab and one lakh from Delhi. It would give me the wrong results because the participation with the weightage of that state in the entire population is different. So let's say if India is having five crore and if I choose that it is the ten percent of the weightage, then I have to select those ten percent of the data. That is why stratification is required and stratification would help us. to understand what is the percentage of the involvement of that data in the entire population and from there we can choose the sample so that we can get get the equal chance so certification is defined as the act of sorting data people and objects into distinct group or layers it is a technique used in combination with other data analysis tools when data from variety of sources or categories have been lumped together the meaning of the data can be difficult to see and this data collection and analysis technique separates the data so that pattern can be seen and it is considered very very important it is very very important part of the seven basic tools aur main jo aapko bata raha hu that is the data analytics data analytics ka aap course karte ho to usme yahi cheeze aapko sikhai jati hai jo ab mini tab mein karne wale hai so just try to use it you just try to uh, experience it and practice it otherwise you will not able to get it कॉन्सेप्ट्स आपको पता चल जाएगा बट इफ यू विल नॉट प्रैक्टिस इट यू विल नॉट एबल टू गेट द रियल बेनिफिट ऑफ इट सो व्हेन टू यूज सर्टिफिकेट सर्टिफिकेशन बिफोर कलेक्टिंग द डेटा व्हेन डेटा कम फ्रॉम सेवरल सोर्सेस और कंडीशन सच एज सेव्ड डेज ऑफ द वीक 
suppliers or population group we are using stratification when data analysis may require separating different sources or conditions we are using stratification some of the examples of uh, 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 what are these uh, you know different sources and uh, what are the certified data so equipments different different when i am getting the product from different equipments so there is certification required different scripts different department different material different supplier day of the week time of the day products right so if you are doing mixture of everything then certification is very handy too okay bahut easy tool hai lekin generally hum usko it's like common sense is not very common and uh, that is why we are not able to use it i'm not going into the theory of it let me straight away take you through the excel aur excel mein bilkul aasani se ye several data from the schools several schools और मुझे ये डेटा मिला है कि कुछ जो मार्क्स आए कोई एक सब्जेक्ट के मार्क्स हैं एंड हैव जेंडर मेल है मैं बिल्कुल एक इजी एग्जांपल दे रहा हूं ताकि जो कॉन्सेप्ट है वो समझ में आ जाए देन वी कैन डू द कॉम्प्लेक्स एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन दैट ओके लेकिन मुझे यहाँ पे एक यहाँ पे स्टेटिफाई करना है मतलब मुझे अलग करना है तो मुझे ये जानना है कि उसमें से मैं कितने मान लो दस परसेंट मुझे सैंपल्स निकालने हैं रेंडमली आई वुड लाइक टू चूज टेन सैंपल्स टू चेक हाउ लाइक फीमेल्स आर परफॉर्मिंग गुड और मेल आर परफॉर्मिंग गुड एंड आई एम आई एम आई एम हैविंग यू नो दी फीमेल मेल फीमेल मेल दिस डेटा इज अवेलेबल एंड सिक्सटी फोर डेटा पॉइंट्स आई एम हैविंग एंड दिस सिक्सटी फोर यू कैन एक्चुअली गो थ्रू इट एंड यू कैन डू द एनालिसिस नथिंग नथिंग वेरी डिफिकल्ट इन टू इट लेकिन अगर मेरे पास ऐसे टू हंड्रेड डेटा पॉइंट्स है या फिर जब हम बात करते हैं बिग डेटा बिग डेटा एंड इन बिग डेटा यू आर हैविंग द डेटा ऑफ 10000 कस्टमर्स फ्रॉम द एंड यू आर हैविंग द वैरायटी फ्रॉम द फोर डिफरेंट स्टेट्स और लेट्स से 24 डिफरेंट स्टेट्स देन हाउ टू चूज सैंपल आउट ऑफ इट हाउ टू डू सम और हाउ टू इंटरप्रेट देम देयर वेयर दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्टिफिकेशन टूल्स एक्सेल टूल्स इज वेरी वेरी हैंडी ओके नाउ वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज the bill do here two things we'll stratify them we'll divide them we'll separate them out we'll identify what is the weightage of every gender into this particular data point and then we'll also create a rule that whatever selection we do that should be on on random basis mujhe sabko equal chance dene hain selection ke main apni yahan pe apne apne aap decide nahi karunga ki chalo ye female ko le liya ye le liya i would like yes that i'll do that will do it but we'll do it randomly randomly matlab blind mujhe pata hi nahi hai without any bias i would like to choose samples so for that this tool is very very important so sabse pehle pata karte hain ki female aur male uska contribution data mein kya hai right so i i am having i know that total count is let's say let, later on we'll do this okay so what i'll do is let me मेल ओके सबसे पहले मेल कितने हैं लेट अस फाइंड आउट सो देर इज अ फॉर्मूला फॉर इज काउंट इफ काउंट इफ एंड देन आई विल बी चूजिंग द रेंज ओके सो व्हाट इज द रेंज काउंट इफ देन आई विल क्लिक ऑन दिस ओप्स लेट मी चूज इट ओके so i will be selecting all the data points here 64 k okay. okay and i will click okay and then here i have my range or and then if you can just see here what i'll do is i will put into the inverted comma m a l e m a l e mail okay okay and then i will click okay so 26 male okay then how many female we have uh, i would i'll do is i'll not do the entire process once again i will copy here i will paste in this particular cell and then i will go into the formula bar and instead of male i will type female okay and then i will be click on this so i come to know that i am having 33 female what is the total of this so 26 plus 30 26 plus 30, so I am having total 59 data points. Okay, 59 male and female. Now, what is the percentage of this? So 
divide by 59 okay so i am having 44 percentage of the email or uh, sorry 44 percent of the male and what are the percentage of female 33 divided by 59 i am having 55 percent of the female 56 percent now simple i would like to choose from the sample size calculator mujhe pata hai ki mujhe bis sample choose karna hai right 20 okay so male mujhe kitne choose karna hai male is equal to what i'll do is 20 into 44 percent okay so 8.81 so let me put them into the round figure 8 point so it is around 9 9 male i'll be choosing so it is obvious that female i will be choosing here is like 11 or you can put the percentage also now this is what we have decided ki agar mujhe b sample choose karne hai to weightage ke hisab se mujhe no male choose karne hai randomly aur female 11 female karni hai kon kon se choose karunga ab ye ek to sidha ek aap sidha sidha kar sakte ho ki ye pehla le liya panchwa le liya daswa le liya lekin if you are having 200 data so which you will choose right and humko yahan pe yaad rakhna hai bias nahi aana chahiye right we have to choose them randomly when we are talking about random randomly choosing then let us add random number random number is in if you excel if you would like to create a random number so again each each of these marks you can create a random number or each against each gender you uh, this on, on this mark which is the variable you can create the random number so oh, i would like to create random number what is the formula of this random i'm not going into the uh, between or uh, i would like not to make difficult here so r a n d right and then i will be choosing this right so when i will clicking it again this mark or again this particular gender i got this number this is random number excel is giving us we are not having any control and i need random why we are doing it because we have randomly sabko equal chance dene hain choose karne ka I'll, I'll be coming to that when we'll do the sorting for the stratification okay and then i will be clicking on this so i will get i got all the random numbers here you can see here i got the random numbers Excel ने हमको दे दिया है कि ये आपका इस वैल्यू के सामने या पांचवे नंबर के सामने आपका ये रैंडम नंबर है लेकिन उसका प्रॉब्लम क्या है पता है ये रैंडम नंबर है ना डायनेमिक है जैसे ही आप वापस उसको रन कराओगे तो एक्सेल वापस दूसरे रैंडम नंबर दे देंगे राइट तो हमको इसको स्टैटिक बनाना है फिक्स कर देना है तो मैं क्या करूंगा इसको कंट्रोल सी करूंगा राइट और उसको वैल्यू के तरीके उसको मैं पेस्ट कर दूंगा सो आई विल इन द सेम कॉलम I will go and paste, go to paste special and then I will click on the values and click OK. Right. So, this is fixed. Okay. So, what do you know? I have 20% of the samples selected. So, what is the weightage? I have to do it. So, how do you know? 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 एक क्योंकि मुझे रैंडमली स्ट्रेटिफाइड कर रैंडमली सिंपल चूज करना है और स्ट्रेटिफिकेशन जो आएगा उसमें से रैंडमली चूज करना है इसके लिए मैंने सारी तैयारी कर ली है नाउ आई एम डन नाउ व्हाट आई कैन डू इज अगेन ओके एंड देन सॉर्ट एंड देन या आई एम डन ओके so this you can see here i could able to stratify the female the group of female and male in two different sections so i can what i'll do is just to make them uh, different or to uh, represent them with this some color i will be giving them green color or yellow color let me put uh, some color here So this is my male and white is my, this is my female and white is my male. And now I can choose this particular 11 male female for my sampling analysis out of this population. No female, 11 female, 
उसको एनालिसिस के लिए आई कैन चूज दैम देन नेक्स्ट एनालिसिस वुड स्टार्ट कि कौन से कितने लोग इसके कितने मार्क्स आए ये फीमेल के कितने मार्क्स आए फिर मार्क्स के आप टोटल करो नंबर ऑफ फीमेल से डिवाइड करो व्हाट इज परसेंटेज दे गोट मेल के नंबर्स डिवाइड करो अब मैं आधा आधा करके फिर टोटल मार्क्स करके रिवीजन लेता तो वो जो मेरा इंटरप्रिटेशन आता वो गलत आता लेकिन स्टेटिफिकेशन में मैंने यहाँ पे डिसाइड किया कि कितना वेटेज है और रेंडमली अब उसमें से ट्वेंटी कर चूज किया एंड देन इफ आई कैन कंक्लूड समथिंग अबाउट इट आई कैन एबल टू कंक्लूड इट करेक्टली so this is the example you can see this is the example where we have created x and y like purity percentage and and particle the same example we had taken here like this example now if you see from this example the relationship we cannot see any we cannot establish any relationship but now if you see this graph if you see this graph where the same x and y analysis percentage of purity versus and particle and you can see this is like you know these uh, this points with uh, represented with uh, triangle this is from reactor uh, reactor 2 this square it is this data point is from the reactor 3 and this black dots these are from the reactor 1 so now i can say that there is some relationship between percentage of purity and iron in relay reactor 3 as purity uh, increases iron particles per parts per million would also be increases right so this is the relationship i can able to see similarly if you see uh, you know the data 2 and like you know the two the the triangle some kind of relationship always i can see but if you see the reactor one there is no relationship and some other factors are impacting on reactor one and which is because of this i don't know which factor that is again the process again the uh, the part of analysis but from this i can definitely say that reactor 3 mein to ye relation ban raha hai to reactor 3 mein agar mujhe relationship establish karni hai percentage of purity in air particle then definitely i can establish the relationship partially i can do it for the three also but one there is some other thing which is actually impacting on my outcome so this is how you can interpret